Hey everyone, today we will be solving code forces round 909 tip 3 problem C Yarik and Eric. Okay. Pause the video, read the question, then we will explain. Okay, so cool. So the question is saying that Yarik has been given an array of n elements and he has to select an subarray. Okay, and how he want to select the subarray such that the sum of the subarray should be maximum, and there is one constraint that the two consecutive elements should not be of same parity should not be of same parity parity that means they should not be either odd or even okay so what he says is that out of a till n he if he selects some random indices a of i and a of i plus one that means they should not be both even they should not be both even neither they both should be odd that is if you will take the modulus by two they should different if it's an even it should be odd or if it's an odd it should be an even number okay that's what the question says and what we have to do we have to return the sum of such a subarray or like out of all the subarrays we have to return the maximum sum that can be produced following this constraint okay so if you have solved this maximum sum subarray then you would be familiar but if not nothing to worry about we'll we'll go and solve this very easily and, and very detailed manner okay so now what the question says that you have an array a2 a3 a4 till a n and you have to select an sub array okay it can be from here or it can be from here or it can be from here to here anything so now the first thing the very first thing you can what you can think is if if all these numbers if all these numbers are positive like a of i is always greater than equal to zero that means what will be the best scenario what will be the best scenario taking this entire array as a array because we know that all the numbers are positive all the numbers are positive that means taking all the number will give us the maximum sum so now let's check is that true no the numbers can be negative but okay no no worries we have one one basic idea that we have to select the positive elements but let's say let's say if i have some number as 4 and 14 over here okay 4 and 14 over here and there is one more element in this place or let's say i have some array which have first element as 4 second element as i we don't know yet and third element is 14 so let's say if this number is some positive number this is some positive number let's say 2 4 or 10 or 100 anything then in that scenario can we take this yes if we'll take this and let's say that was also 4 so our total sum will become 4 plus 4 plus 14 that is nothing but how much it will be 22 okay but now let's say let's say if instead of this positive numbers we have a negative number and it was negative till less than 14 less than negative 14 so let's say it was minus 5 or better let's start with something greater than 14 so let's say it was minus 15 or minus 17 or okay no uh, let's better it be greater with 4 also so it was minus 5 so that is one case okay in one case what i am saying is the number was minimum than this 4 and minimum as in more negative than this 4 that is the number will be always be greater than minus 4 okay so that's one case another case is this number is between minus 4 or like from minus 4 till any positive number so that will be uh, one case this this we can combine with this one but let's say we split it for minus 4 to 0 the positive numbers and the negative numbers so now if you'll we'll see this case if you'll we'll see this case if we already know that if it's a positive number overall our result will increment but if it's something if we, it is something that minus 4 till 0 that means if we'll start counting from here if we'll start counting from this position and we'll go till this or this or what i'm saying is if we'll consider this entire array then in that what will happen first we'll have 4 then we take this value we know that this will be something between minus 4 to 0 and then then we have value 14 so here if you will say if it is like minus 4 
so in that scenario the entire sum will become minus 4 minus 4 uh, plus 4 minus 4 0 plus 14 well, the range will become something like this 14 and if it is 0 then the range will again become 22 okay so that's one scenario but if if we have this value this value less than less than minus 4 that means it will be something like from minus infinity till minus 5 so in that scenario this entire equation this entire equation can be written something like this if you will add 4 4 so this will become nothing but this will still be minus infinity because adding 4 will do nothing but this minus 4 will become minus 1 and then we can take the next element 14 so here what we realize here what we realize that if the earlier sum was negative if the earlier sum was negative what we have to do eventually in this array in this array we have to select a sub array okay so what we were thinking initially selecting this all this all the elements okay and what we are realized right now is if we select this and if this the sum of these two sum of these two is negative negative then taking this sum taking this sum forward here here it will do nothing but decrease our value will decrease our value so instead of doing that what we can do we can break our sub array from here and we can start taking our new sub array from here so though even though if we take this single element we know that this single element will be greater like 14 will be greater than minus uh, 13 right because if we will consider this element along with this element it would have been something like this that minus infinity to 14 even if it is minus 1 uh, taking the best case as minus 1 and adding 14 to it it will decrease our value to 13 instead if you would have taken just one element sub array then it would have given us 14 okay so what we realize what we realize that and yes there was one more case that here it would have given us some positive value so what we can see over here is if we have some element for some element in between and another some element okay if this value this value is overall greater than or equal to zero that means we can add this 14 in the same sub array because that will eventually increase our value that will eventually increase our value but if if this sub array sum or the sum of this, this sub array is lesser than zero that means we will just end our sub array over here and we'll start a new sub array over here if we are selecting this element right when selecting this element we'll start our new sub array why because it was already less than zero so we'll have to you know we'll have to take from if we'll take this right we'll get maximum possible value else it would have decreased our value okay so i hope that part would be clear now there is one more constraint in the question that we cannot take consecutive numbers so nothing to worry about so now what our break condition has become so or so whenever we will be moving from you know like let's say this was the first element we'll see like for all these elements for all these elements what we'll have to do we know that we try to take as many elements as possible that way we'll have our maximum elements but at the same time at the same time what we'll keep in mind that whether the previous one whether the previous one like see if we, i want to take another element over here so i will check if the previous one value is less than zero that means it's better to drop this and start from here right but if it is greater than equal to zero okay or if greater than zero because equal to zero can won't affect anything but if it is greater than zero then it's better to select this value along with these values so that was one case and second case what we have is it should not be of the same parity okay it should not be of the same parity so what we can do now let's see the solution once so what we have did so first of all we know that the answer can be it is a non-empty sub array right so even if it's a, everything is negative we will have to select at least one element so what we do we take the first element as our answer and we started from one because we have to check that the adjacent parity should not be same so we take in the initial sum as uh, in current zero or the continuous sum we are taking about right like at each point we have two options at at each point we have two option either to continue this sub continue the previous sub array or start a new sub array and we know the condition when we should start or when we should drop so we added that element okay and we see that even if this entire element has got a negative if that has 
got a negative what does that mean what does that mean so when we are talking about if in the previous example we have we are taking that some value over here right so whenever we will have uh, we are at this value and this was let's say minus 5 or minus 10 so overall the value over here would become less than 0 that means it's better we take only this much value because we have to take one value right we have to take one value okay so what we'll do we'll do nothing but we will yeah so we'll check yeah, sorry uh, there was one mistake so we have to uh, as it's less than zero so what we'll do we will just move to the next element without taking this element and as we have already already selected at least one element so we don't need to worry about like we at the end we won't be selecting elements so like let's say if we have initialized it to zero and all the elements were negative so in that case what would have happened that we won't be selecting any elements and the answer would have repeated run zero but in the question it is mentioned that we have to select at least one element that's why we have initially initialized with zeroth element value so that at least one value will be in our answer now if the and the current sum is less than zero then we can simply drop it and make the current sum as zero else what we can do or like here also so what we had done if the previous sum if the previous sum was less than zero then we marked it as zero or drop the entire sub array and we are taking this else we would have if it was positive we would have simply added the value and now if this sum is lesser than zero or if the parity is same then what what is the better choice we can simply have our current sum as equals to arr of i why because why because we in the question it is given that the parity should not be same they should have alternating parity and okay and now after calculating this value we have maximized our answer okay and finally we return our answer okay so i hope the question would be clear to you but if you guys have any doubt ask me in the comment section thank you